live from Nice, France, it's theCUBE, covering .next Conference 2017 Europe, brought to you by Nutanix. Welcome back to theCUBE, I'm Stu Miniman, happy to be joined by Well Shawarib, uh, who's with Warba Bank, yes. uh, customer uh, from uh, Ku Kuwait. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. No problem, anytime. I mean, thank you very much for the hosting. Okay, so first, set us up a little bit. Uh, t tell us about Warba Bank. Uh, you know, how old's the company? You know, how large? Well, Warba Bank, uh, basically, uh, bank uh, which is uh, seven years old now. Uh, the bank has been uh, coming up into a very challenging market, small market, uh, full of banks. So the, uh, the bank has set the strategy three years back is uh, to go for uh, digitization of the retail banking journeys, uh, focusing on the core of the uh, investment and the commercial banking. Okay, seven years, it's interesting. I, I've interviewed you know, some banks that are 100 or hundreds exactly, of years yeah. old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, you you know, very different when you talk about kind of you know, the digital uh, disruption uh, mm. that, that's going on. Um, before we get into a little bit, just tell us a little bit about your background, how long you've been with the bank, and Well, like I've that. been working into the IT industry, especially in uh, information security for the past maybe uh, 17 years, uh, handling the infrastructure roles for the past uh, seven years. Uh, and I've been working into financial sector, information security consultation, uh, doing penetration testing, ethical hacking, uh, secure checks, uh, configuration, uh, networking. Uh, this is the background for me. Okay, and, and you have infrastructure and information security management. So exactly. Security, of course, uh, for from a bank uh, is pretty critical. Uh, but are you so in IT is what it is? Uh, what, 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 how, how, how do you fit in the organization? Right now, the information security is the number one top priority for yeah. the uh, all financial sector wherever they are. Never, not in the Middle East only. It's everywhere. Uh, the uh, the attacking landscape and the uh, the implementation and how complex the infrastructure has gone uh, makes the information security now is very challenging so basically it's one of our key roles to uh, secure the financial sector infrastructure especially in World Bank. Yeah, can, can you bring us inside a little bit I mean you know ransomware of course is on everybody's lips uh, the, the, this uh, year this is, you know this is uh, Raj in the <laughs> keynote this morning was talking about you know hackers uh, and the like so you know what percentage of budget gets spent on security uh, and you know what, what, what are some of the, the, the main concerns that you have? Well if you go with the international trends and the surveys uh, information security is taking most of the budgets for the IT right now because the, uh, uh, as I told you, the landscape of the attacking has been uh, rising very much. Uh, the uh, people have been very much uh, aware about information security, news are coming up every day. Uh, so basically enterprises now are allocating a lot of budget for information security. Uh, but it's a bit challenging when it comes to uh, banks in the size of uh, World Bank. Uh, the priority for the information security, the priority for the uh, cost uh, effective solution, this is where you have to do the most effective choices uh, when you are doing the implementation for technology. Okay, uh, bring us inside, tell us a little bit about kind of your IT environment. Uh, understand you looking at, uh, you, you were the first uh, customer of Nutanix uh, in, in Kuwait, had been looking at them before, so what did it look like before? Uh, and you know, <laughs> well, how, how the, come? I mean, uh, before it's, it's, not, it's not us only, it's everybody. Uh, it's everybody was uh, implementing the traditional way of uh, implementing infrastructure, uh, servers, uh, n uh, storages, uh, different technologies, uh, complex networks. Uh, and that was the way uh, till we uh, joined Warba Bank. Uh, things have been changing. We're looking to different strategy, digitization, and uh, hit the market as soon as possible. Uh, demands uh, make the information uh, infrastructure, uh, information security, something that need to be evolved actually uh, in the implementation of the technology inside financial sector. So that's why we moved to a cloud-like platform where we have all of the flexibility of uh, moving, implementing workloads as much as we can, expanding it uh, east to west, south to north. I mean, it depends on uh, where do you really want to put uh, your workloads. Uh, so um, with that direction, Nutanix have been uh, looked for as a vendor uh, from a strategical perspective. 
uh, they were uh, going into the same direction where everybody is looking at and whenever we started to look at like the expanding of the infrastructure uh, on the on the cloud level they were there so that's why the Nutanix have changed the infrastructure part uh, when it comes to the implementation of infrastructure inside okay. Robobank. And, and t tell us about Nutanix expansion in, into your country. When, when did they get there? What kind of resources do they have? Well we were the first customer in, the, uh, in Kuwait. Uh, I think we are also the first Little customer in the Middle East, uh, the uh, the implementation was uh, very much scoped because the technology was not really tested at that specific time. So we scoped it in a very minor uh, scope, uh, tested successful. Then we start expanding that uh, to go all the way to uh, cover the infrastructure. Uh, little bits and pieces is still there, but I mean. Uh, we're going into the direction properly. Yeah. Ha so, how many nodes? Uh, what, what's kind of the, the scope of uh, your, your your environment? We're speaking of almost thirty nodes. So the uh, distributed. And, and how many clusters? How do you break that up? Uh, mm -hmm. It's kind of three clusters mainly. So uh, the uh, the implementation was being segmented properly, uh, security adapted. Because I mean, when it comes to information security, and we combine all your infrastructure in our boxes, uh, security get more complex. So basically, this is where you have to structure, even when you are implementing hyper-converged infrastructure, you need to be very careful when you do segmentation for that. Okay, so, so well, you've been pretty aggressive rolling this out. My understanding, you're a beta customer uh, for testing. You've been, uh, yes. you know, talk to other, you yes, know, potential true. customers uh, out true. there. Uh, a lot of announcements came out, kind of 5.5. Um, you know, were there certain pieces that you were super excited about that you, that you were kind of ready to roll out production? Maybe to talk a little bit about that. Well, the thing, the uh, the keynote today was talking about the 5.5 version and the uh, the rolling out of new uh, software, uh, basically integrated inside the Nutanix platform. Uh, for us, uh, we were uh, we are a beta tester for most of it, so basically there was nothing much new about it for me, especially. Uh, or for Warby Bank uh, because we've been testing that uh, right now into our environment. Uh, we've been co collaborating with Nutanix about the bugs, the uh, what need to be fixed and stuff like that. So I mean, the I think pretty much the, the strategy of the 5.5 uh, and today we had a one-to-one -one meeting about the coming strategy again. It, it's very much aligned with, if you are going for digitization, the, the strategy is aligned. Yeah, w were there any special features in 5.5 that you know jumped out at you, or just is it uh, the whole platform? Well, the, the com is uh, very bit uh, interesting. The, uh, the, uh, the micro-segmentation uh, implementation of the, uh, se for the security of the infrastructure is very much interesting. Uh, the expansion for the uh, insights inside the infrastructure because I mean that specific thing uh, uh, if you look for other vendors who can provide the same services uh, basically it needs third-party integration and you'll see some other people are looking at infrastructure I mean Nutanix uh, when they look at it they said okay we provide everything so why don't we give that so they uh, they give the insights uh, where you can do the prediction for the uh, the machine learning for the server performance. This is uh, pretty impressive. All right, well, uh, what you talked about going forward, what more, what are you looking for for Nutanix, either new functionality or kind of expansion? Uh, well, I mean, the, the now, because we are beta testing the COM, and this is the first uh, stage for the uh, DevOps implementation, uh, getting people in the automation uh, era. Uh, basically, uh, this is where they need, uh, I'm looking for, from Nutanix, to start implementing, uh, to start getting, stacking the DevOps cycle, the application life cycle management right from the provisioning till the application production, pushing the deployments, rolling it back. I mean, uh, I mean I'm expecting that this is to happen maybe like in two, in two years. That's supposed to be it.
I mean, with the vision I can see, that has to be it. Yeah. So you, you mentioned micro segmentation. Is there anything else from you know with your security hat on? You know, how, how does Nutanix make things easier for you? Or well, basically, the ecosystem. When they when they start working on data at rest encryption, that makes a lot of leverage for the information security, because basically uh, in a in a standard implementation, once data has been rested on the disk, now you need to secure it. You have to apply your encryption, uh, and you have to see the compatibility with the hardware or the software uh, I mean these people have been integrating the uh, data on rest encryption along with their framework so basically you don't have to get into all of this struggle when you're looking for data at rest encryption even during the data transfer uh, encrypting the data has been there so I think the 5.5 is gonna make a big change Okay, well, uh, you, you told me that this is the second time you attended. You attended yeah. both the other European yep. show uh, in Vienna last year. What, what brings you back to the show? What do you, uh, you know, get out of it? You know, if, if you tell your peers that haven't come, you know, why, why should they come to an event like this? I mean, the change, the, 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 the thing we've been seeing in uh, last year, uh, the implementation and the vision, and when you look at the, this is a post like 365 days, and. When you look at that 365 days, you'll see a lot of people planning and they can see the strategy and they're moving towards it, they are achieving. Uh, so that makes the, uh, I mean, last year I've seen people, they're almost like 750 people they were planning for. They were doubled in the uh, last conference. This year I was amazed with the number of people who are attending, the keynote size, the uh, kind of customers, uh, the customer base who came from the Middle East with me because I'm part of them. So uh, I've seen the people are coming to the uh, to the to see the strategy and the implementation of that company. So uh, that was really impressive, and that's what makes me looking forward actually to see what's next. All right. Well. It is .nex, so uh, Welsh Warab. Thank you so much for joining us. H have a great uh, no time with the rest of the show. Thank we'll be you back very with much. lots more coverage here at Nutanix.next in Nice, France. I'm Stu Miniman, and you're watching theCUBE.